Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ron Anik, and this is the Black Axe Ranch here in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Hope you guys are staying warm this morning. It's a little bit chilly out here today. It's like 36 out this morning. Lots of frost and the water's got to skim over the top of it too. So that means this weekend we're going to have to break out our new tank heater and uh, put that in there before, uh, you know, things start freezing a lot more. Well, we're heading into weekend two of the Minnesota deer season, and uh, honestly, we haven't had any trouble. You know, heard a few shots, you know, off in the distance, nothing real close. Hey, bud. How are you, huh? How are you? You're going to show off, huh? You're going to show off? Thor has been showing his maleness lately toward the ladies again. Uh, he's been getting a little aggressive, a lot more head bobbing, uh, a lot more... Uh, I guess I don't know what to call it that, you know, with the horn thing. And uh, really giving the ladies a, a run for their money. And in, in other words, really annoying them. Hey, buddy, how are you? Huh? He just won't leave them alone. And uh, it's kind of humorous at times. Uh, you can tell they're getting annoyed by it. But, uh, you know, it's nature. What are you going to do? It's an absolutely gorgeous sunrise out there today. I mean, the sky, eh, there's a couple of clouds up there, but just beautiful weather and no wind, so that's nice. It's been pretty windy here the last week. It's been windy. We've had, uh, you know, a little off and on rain, and of course, you know, that hits the ground and then it freezes. So you got to kind of watch where you're walking. But like I was saying, we haven't had any troubles with any hunters this year, so it's always a good thing. Always something we got to be, you know, on the alert for. You know, we live up in the backcountry here, and, you know, a lot of people come up from what we call the Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul area. A lot of seasonal people around here. They just seem to think that this place is like the Wild West. They just seem to think that there's no rules, no laws, and honestly, sometimes no respect for other people's property or stuff. You got to look out for your own, you know. You got to look out for your own property, your family, your animals, and most particularly when you live out in the country. That's just the way the world is. Come on out, guys. Come on, come on out. Time to come out. Come on, there you go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, come on out. There you go. I hear more in there. Come on. There you go. Why are you so slow? Let's grab this and bring it on out there for you guys. There we are. So our new male duck apparently has a fetish for chickens. And this is what he does. Yeah, I think you're feeling left out, aren't you? Get you some more here. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, you quit being tough. You quit being a tough guy. Yeah. You quit being a tough guy. Huh? Yeah. Quit being a tough guy. Huh? Oh, I pet ya. I pet ya. Yeah. I got away with it. Yeah. You got quite the mop there. You got frost in your hair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We get you guys some more water. Yeah, you gonna be a tough guy now. You 
you're gonna teach me? <laughs> oh, okay, all right, I won't laugh at you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll get you something here. We'll get you something. Not much left of the duck pond here either. We'll have to clean those branches out of there if I can get close to them. May not look like it, but it's solid up until about a foot or so away from those branches, and then <laughs> it's about a foot and a half of muck. And I learned that the hard way the other day, but we're not going to talk about that. These guys are trying to get the last little bit of fun out of the summer and fall here before that's completely iced over permanently. Enjoy it while it lasts, guys. Well, look who it is, Mama Tatanka and her chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. You're the one that just uh, announced to the world. Speaking of announced to the world. Yeah, they look kind of hungry. I think we should get them something. Sounds like a plan. Kim in her typical Minnesota attire for 36 degrees. Yep. Yep, it's still sandal weather in Minnesota. That's right. <laughs> Quick throw on sandals. Yeah. Well, you go with what works. Yep. Well, I was going to carry it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Well. I have to do my part. Yeah, right. You are a woman. I hear you roar. <laughs> Where are you throwing? Oh, that side? Yep. Okay. Hi, guys. Piper, what do you think? Oh, dude, you go good puppy. Is that a good doggy? Yeah. All right, let's go keep an eye on mom here. Yeah, they're hungry. He was chasing the ladies around this morning, too. Like usual. Yep. Hi, buddy. He was acting like Mr. Tough Guy earlier. Like usual. Yep. I told you we'd get you some food, bud. Yeah, I told you we would. Where are the other ones? Oh, there they are. Come on, girls. Come on. Hurry it up. Like it's taking too long. Right? That's right. Happy bison. Whoop, <laughs> you wiped out. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button down below. It shows your support and helps motivate us to make more videos.
Oh, that ought to keep him happy for a while, huh? Yeah. Rule of thumb with bison, keep him fat and happy. And I think we've accomplished that here today. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah? Mission accomplished. Definitely going to have to break out the winter boots, having this thin little layer of rubber between me and 30-some degrees of temperature. Ain't cutting it. So this is as far as we got with the hay shed this year. And that's okay, because that's just another project waiting for me come spring. But I'll let future Ron worry about that. But I think we did pretty good for one summer. We didn't even start till what, mid-July or something like that. So we got quite a bit done. It looks awesome, I think. Hopefully you guys think the same. Apparently Piper thinks so too. Yeah, you heard your name. <laughs> yeah. Piper, come here. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, that's a puppy. It's a good doggy. Uh huh? Do you see squirrels? Do you see squirrels? Is there a squirrel over there? Huh? You see a squirrel? You see a squirrel? No, you don't go in there now. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, get away from there. You're gonna get zapped and then I'll be doing doggy CPR. We don't need that. We don't need that, do we? What do you think? Should we call it good for now? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I see their uh, cone. We should throw that new cone out there later after they're done eating. That one looks pretty beat up, don't you think? Yeah. They need a, a new one. Yep. Yeah. Well, we got that one. We'll dig it out later and see what they think.